Implementing algorithms on FPGA or ASIC hardware requires that they process a stream of bits. Simulink provides a good environment for designing hardware implementations due to its inherent parallelism, timing, and data type propagation. But how do you verify that your Simulink streaming hardware implementation delivers the same functionality as your MATLAB frame-based algorithm? The basic approach is to reuse your MATLAB testing environment to drive input to both your MATLAB algorithm and to your Simulink hardware implementation, and then to compare the results from each to make sure your hardware implementation delivers the same functionality you need within tolerance. LTE HDL Toolbox ships an example of this using a standalone LTE turbo decoder design. And there are two versions of this example, with the only difference being where the data gets converted between frames and a stream of bits. I'll focus on the approach that does the conversion in Simulink. Here's the MATLAB code, which simply creates a packet, uses algorithms from LTE System Toolbox to encode and modulate it, adds some over-the-air noise, receives it, and decodes it. If I run this part of the algorithm, it produces this scatter plot showing the transmitted signal with the noisy received signal. To build a design like the one in the example, you can just click the Simulink button and it will give you a choice of templates to get started. This example uses the LTE HDL Toolbox frame data template. Switching to the design in the example, you can see it uses the same structure. It takes an input signal from a workspace variable, in frames, with a size that's also specified by a workspace variable, sends it into this frame to samples block, which will convert it to a stream of bits going into the hardware implementation. The hardware subsystem just contains the LTE turbo decoder block from LTE HDL Toolbox. Its parameters are set from MATLAB using these workspace variable names. Then its output is converted back to frames and sent to a workspace variable for processing in MATLAB. Note that this is in an enabled subsystem. It will only send data into the workspace variable when the valid out signal from the hardware is asserted. One last thing is that since Simulink is time-based, I want to set a stop time, at which point it will return the values from the workspace block to MATLAB. And that can be set from MATLAB via a workspace variable. So I'll move back to MATLAB to finish setting up these variables. These are explained in more detail in the example itself, but they are all shared between MATLAB and the Simulink model, which allows you to parameterize your design from your test scripts. And you can even set Simulink block parameters as shown here. Finally, it sets the simulation time and converts the input data to fixed point. You can convert to fixed point in MATLAB or Simulink, whichever you prefer. Then the sim command runs the design using that input data. Now Simulink can build the model and stream in the data, then store the result in the output variable. The colors you see there indicate sample times. Digital hardware clocks in the data one sample at a time, and each of those samples corresponds to one over the frame size. So in this case, the frame input is considered one sample, and the digital hardware sample rate is every 10.8 microseconds. Now that the simulation is done, the hardware implementation's output is in the outframes underscore log data variable. And I can compare that versus the bits that came out of the algorithmic model, and all looks good. So this approach lets you reuse your MATLAB development work and drive your Simulink hardware implementation right from MATLAB. For more details, you can explore the framed and streaming data examples in the LTE HDL Toolbox documentation.